Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 13th, 2020, Friday the 13th. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where I overlook space weather, extreme weather, and disaster alerts from around the world. Having a look at our sun, we still only have the one sunspot to talk about. It has been pretty active, though. Southern region of the sun. Nothing else to talk about. No coronal holes. Still a very quiet sun. I want to give a shout out to everybody around the world. Thoughts and prayers to everyone who is being affected by COVID-19. As WHO has declared a world pandemic. So welcome to Whoville, everyone. Stay aware, prepared, stay clean and smart. I've heard rumors that the border will be shut down Monday, Canada and the US. So stay tuned to Morning Dew. Let's check out the earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Wait, is that the last 24 hours? Yep, sure is. Okay, yeah, this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Very busy, as you can see just riddled right now with earthquakes. Sizable well ones to talk about here. 5.2, the Philippines plate. 4.5 there in Indonesia. 5.3 in Japan again. As well, 5.0 here in China. 4.8 in Iran today. And as well, another sizable 4.9 in Africa Tanzania, Tanzania, Africa. South America rumbling today as well, 4.3 and a 5.2. De Quilc, Chile, as well, Panama shaking with a 5.1 earthquake today, 10 kilometer depth. Dominican Republic is still rumbling. Earthquake swarm as well. Look at these earthquakes across the US, 2.9 Oklahoma. 2.6 Texas, and then the Canadian US border, Montana, with a 2.5 Lima, Montana. Alaska, Aleutian Islands, and into Russia. Deep earthquake here, 4.3. Most likely volcanic related. Looking around the world, this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. 4.9 at a 208 kilometer depth Tonga region. That's today. So two deep earthquakes, Russia and Tonga. Have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. And I've been talking about this the last few videos, is that there has been a lot of deep earthquakes around the world. That leads me to believe that we are looking at some great crustal displacement, possibly even some undersea volcanoes erupting. Stay tuned to the volcanic activity report coming out tomorrow. I'm going to try to release that every Saturday. Pacific Disaster Center here showing Reventador, most recent updates for volcanoes, as well as Dakono, landslide in, uh, in India, as well as Senge and Ecuador being updated. A lot of storms have broken out across Malaysia in, into northern Vietnam. South Africa as well. We've been talking about that in the last couple of videos. As well, Eastern Australia dealing with some flood alerts this last little while. Now across the United States, still watching a lot of flood alerts and as well tornado warnings today. Uh, I had warned the last couple of days in my videos, stay aware prepared. Extreme weather is breaking out yet again today. A couple tornado alerts went out yesterday across Albuquerque and into Arkansas. So Albuquerque to New Mexico today experiencing some extreme weather as well. The desert throughout Phoenix receiving a lot of rain. So watch for flash flooding alerts throughout the desert.
you can see here all those red blobs on the radar here that is where the tornado alerts are no hook echo is present right now but stay aware prepared still early in the day much love to you all again please if you haven't hit that like button please do so now really helps in that first 10 minutes as we're all watching and as well watch time thanks again friends and family for tuning in every day to daily events worldwide that assures me that i have done my part with my friends and family to stay aware and prepared five day forecast brought to you by meteor earth meteor mike starting here home base calgary alberta where it is very cold right now minus 20 minus 25 with the wind chill and it's snowing and we're going to get a bunch of snow tonight just look at this low pressure system spinning off of the coast of oregon clashing with cold high pressure ridge And then watch as it gets trapped in another low pressure system coming from the north to affect Quebec again. And they're already going to receive quite a storm today and tomorrow. This is the forecast for eastern Canada, Quebec, and up into Newfoundland. That is going to be a beast nor'easter. A lot of snow and cold winds behind that storm. So stay aware, prepared, my French friends in Quebec City and all the way north there to the Hudson Bay. Across Europe, drying up throughout Central Europe, things starting to warm up again. And as well, United Kingdom, the next couple days, you're going to be dry, so enjoy it. More rain comes in later in the week. And then by Wednesday, you're going to see some really cool temperatures possibly snow higher elevations United Kingdom as these low pressure systems keep spinning around the globe and the temperatures keep dropping as well across Russia watch for two low pressure systems to converge later in the week and as well looking at the Pacific Ocean just still very strange I haven't seen it act like this ever uh, straight north south intertropical convergence very strange indeed much love to you all also watching a kind of invisible low pressure system here across the Caribbean hopefully that dissipates and heads north back into the Atlantic But definitely going to be keeping an eye on that over the next few days as that is a deep lower level trough has been hanging around for a week or so overlooking south america heavy rains extreme weather expected throughout buenos aires into argentina central africa dealing with heavy rains as well madagascar as this tropical cyclone number 22 for about a day or so is going to spin around the coastline of Madagascar then head south watch for heavier rains this week throughout Nigeria as well coastal regions South America here are the storms we're talking about throughout China and into Thailand and Malaysia and as well watch for extreme weather across northern Pakistan as the low pressure center moves down south of the Mongolian mountains. Australia escaping the cyclone that was supposed to churn up the northeastern parts. Watching for heavy rain amounts in southwestern Australia as the low pressure system develops there. Watch for a cyclone to graze northern New Zealand later in the week. Intense high pressure ridge in the Pacific, both the North and the Southern Hemisphere. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere, and as well, the largest weather maker for this video. The big storm heading into Quebec City. 
Much love to you all. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.